Hello. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build an uncertainty calculator in Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel or whatever. This will come in very useful, not only in this lab, but also in future labs. Anytime you have a whole bunch of data points that you need to do the same error propagation on over and over and over again, making a new spreadsheet for each data point is a little clunky. And so we want something that's more efficient. And that's what we're going to learn how to do here. And this is going to build upon the ideas of Monte Carlo error propagation and fixed uh, spreadsheet references that we've talked about in prior labs. So in the context of this lab, what we're interested in is uh, our variable might be square root of h. That might be our variable. Yours might be slightly different. There are multiple ways to linearize uh, these data, but I'm going to use square root of h as an example. Okay, And then I'll have for a data point an average height of 1.57 uh, meters. It's always considered to be good practice to put your unit straight in your spreadsheet. It makes it easier for other people to sort of follow. And then an uncertainty of, I don't know, a centimeter, something like that. OK. I'm going to leave some space for later on. And then I'm going to start building my Monte Carlo uh, simulation. So list my trials. So that plus one. And then. Do like a thousand trials, something like that. There we go. So there's my thousand uh, trials. And then the next step is for each trial to determine our height. And this is where we are pulling a height at random from our random distribution, our normal distribution. So we are assuming that our heights have a normal distribution of a mean given by this value, the 1.57, and a standard deviation given by this uncertainty. So this is where I'm going to use my norm inverse function with a random probability, uh, this mean, and this standard deviation. And I will get a random height. Now, once again, if I just copy and paste, you see, I run into a problem because now it's not looking at the same cells, right? It slid down using the logic of spreadsheets. It slid down and now it's looking at B3 and B4. And that, that's not what I want. So I want it to stick and use these two values all the time. So I'm going to use the fixed reference technique that we talked about. I'll just fix both row and column because you know, they're not going to be moving. So then copy and paste that all the way down. Oops, no, thank you. There we go. So now I've got a whole bunch of heights. And then my variable, which I've decided is square root of height. Again, yours might be square root two height. There are a couple of different ways to go about this. So I'm going to do square root of the height. Now, you could do this all in one computation. I find it easier to do it in two. It makes it easier for me to see what's going on. Um, OK. And Google gave me a nice suggested autofill. That worked quite nicely here. All right. So now I can go through and calculate the average uh, square root height which is going to be the average of all of this, all of these values, my thousand trials where I'm pulling a height from my normal distribution at random, given my normal distribution with a mean of 1.57 and a standard deviation of 0.01. That's where all these heights are coming from. So we want to go and get all of them. There we go. 
speed things up a bit. There we go. So now I have an average square root uh, height. And so the units of this would be actually square root meters. And then I could also calculate a uncertainty in my square root of height, which would be uh, the standard deviation of this same column. So now you see I've got an average and an uncertainty in my uh, square root of height, given this height and this uncertainty. And I would go and you know copy and write these down somewhere. So maybe you know I would start another table somewhere else, uh, maybe on another sheet. Um, height, uncertainty square root, height, uncertainty, and my height was 1.5701, and just copy. You would want to make sure that you paste only the value. So paste special, paste values only. That way it won't update when, you're other, when you update your other spreadsheet. Copy and paste special, paste the values only. That would be important. And now I can go and I can show you the power of this. I can go and change this value, call it uh, 3.14 meters. And maybe my uncertainty is no longer one centimeter, it's, I don't know, two centimeters, whatever. And you can see that everything has updated automatically. So you see my heights are now being pulled from a distribution that has a mean of 3.14. You can see that pretty clearly. And everything's automatically updated. And so this is how you could quickly build up a spreadsheet of uh, values that paste the values only because you don't want these to update. So this is how you could, you know, build up a list of the uh, result of your function, in this case, square root of h, and the uncertainty in your function, you know, very quickly without creating a new spreadsheet for each one. Because we've used the fixed references everywhere, it means that we just have to change these values at the top and everything else updates automatically. Hopefully you have found this to be helpful. And this concludes this video.